good morning youtube this is dr sola coming to you from lagos nigeria so um today i'm going to show you something um protection is really important and it's something we do but we've decided to do it a little differently we've always provided protection but now we decided that everything should be in one enclosure our dc and ac and i'll show you what we've done and how we've done it first of all if you've not subscribed, please click subscribe. Finally, I'm at 5,000. Well, I'm too shy of 5,000. So you have done a fantastic job and have taken me to that 5,000 mark. Hopefully 10,000. I'll see 10,000 this year. So let's start with this. So we've got this enclosure. Our big thing is it had to be uh, waterproof. So it's waterproof and dustproof. It's very important because these breakers, granted, they're designed for harsh environments. You don't want to expose them to moisture and dust so let's start with what our protections are so we'll start on the dc side here's our battery breakers you know we run high um high voltage batteries so our breakers could be smaller we've been using chint we find out that they are um, more substantial and you have to buy from a correction chint supplier chnt if not you'll get crap but when we compared it to other breakers we've been using you could see the heft it was a more substantial breaker. So here's our battery breaker. Our surge for our first string. Our surge for our second string. And then our breakers for each individual string. So this is going to a single phase inverter. Um, a 5 kilowatt inverter. And it has two strings. So here and here. And our voltage on our breakers should be. Let me see if you can see that. Okay, 500 volts. We should be using a 1000. But... Our strings will not be our strings. We only have um, six panels or seven panels per string multiplied by 50. So that's 350. So this falls within that. If we're doing a three phase, these breakers will be 1000 volts. Our surge, as you can see, they're rated for up to 1000 volts. We made a mistake once before and we used um, uh, surge protection, protection that was 500. And guess what happened? They tripped. They actually blew up. So this is it for the DC side. We use a separator and this separates the DC from the AC side. So now we come to the AC side. So we'll start with our automatic transfer, our changeover. So we'll put one in here. This changeover is just for um, when the inverter goes off and there's no power supply from the inverter, it will switch and then expect uh, the grid to supply power. So that's why we put an ATS here. Then we put um, a current limiter. We have customers who exceed what um, they should do. So we put a current limiter here and the current limiter we could set uh, the maximum they can discharge, allowing for double surge for a very specific period of time. And once that is exceeded, the system, the current limiter will stop providing power to the house. And then here is our AC out breaker. So before we use the current limiter as our AC out, but the challenge with the current limiter is if it's not supplying, you cannot turn it off. It has to supply, it has to be on before you can turn it off. So we use an AC breaker on the output side. And then, so the AC breaker turns this, turns what's coming from the inverter off and you don't see it here. And then of course we have our surge protection. We have a surge protection on the input side. And then there's the grid or generator input. So this is it in a nutshell and then we have it exiting here so here are glands this is currently upside down it's intentional um when they go to install it this will come out they will drill their holes let me see if you can see the hole oh there's a hole right there let me see it. there's a hole right walls yep you can see it yep there's a hole right there right there there are four there's one in each corner so they will drill it and secure it to the wall and then this will go back on and then we have a um, warning label 400 volts so this on the dc side well um, it's not going to kill anyone but we play it safe and then we're going to ground this as well as you can see there's a ground log so we're going to ground this so if you have any questions please post them in the comments uh, section below if you like what you see do give me a thumbs up if you've not subscribed, please smash the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you for watching.